right guys, today I have a review and comparison of the new L'Oreal um, Brow Stylist Definer. So they finally came out with what is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills or their kind of version of it. We all know that the NYX had already or NYX had already tried this with the micro brow pencil and I did do a review and demo on this one and one of my concerns with the NYX one was that it seemed very drying when I tested the testers and I thought it was maybe just because it was the tester because people play around with them, but it turns out that this really did dry out really, really fast. The first few times it was really nice, smooth, and um, easier to use, and then it kept drying out more and more, and then now I feel like it almost comes off really chunky. It's not as easy to apply, so it is something that I will be getting rid of. As far as the shades, I feel like the Anastasia and the NYX or NYX come with more shades than the L'Oreal. So far, L'Oreal only has three shades available. I did get the shade in between, which was uh, Brunette. I don't really go for really dark colors because my eyebrows naturally are black, so I don't want to like overdo them. So I just want to add a little bit of color without over accentuating the blackness of them, if you get what I'm saying. So as far as the amount that comes in here, it's the same for all three of them. It comes with 0.003 ounces. So you're getting the same amount of product. The Anastasia, of course, runs like 20 something dollars. The NYX one is kind of like in between, I, I think it's like 10 or 11 dollars, and this one would probably be the cheapest. As far as the NYX and L'Oreal, you could probably get them more or less around the same price if you use a coupon code, so I wouldn't really fret there. Um, but I have to say that out of all of them, NYX has been a total fail for me just because of how drying it's been. Um, I I really don't like the fact that it just got drier and drier and now it's like so hard to use. So I will be getting rid of this one. And in this one, I was using the shade Ash Brown. Um, in the L'Oreal, I said brunette. And the one that I always get from the Brow Wiz is the medium brown. So I did swatch these in my on my hand so you guys can see the color difference. Um, the first one here is the one from L'Oreal. The second one is the Anastasia one, and the last one is the NYX, so you guys can kind of compare the shade range. I will be putting all the names of uh, the shades that I use down below, so just for reference for you guys. As far as the tip goes, they are more or less the exact same thing as you can see there. They are these kind of, um, the ones that you kind of twist up, so all three of them are this kind of mechanical pencil that you twist up, and on the end, they all three have spoolies. Um, um, as of course, with the packaging with Anastasia and NYX, you do not see the spoolie while the L'Oreal one is clear so you can see the spoolie. So on the other end, they do have spoolies. And I'm going to just show you guys close up. Be aware that my Anastasia one is like really nasty. But they're more or less the same size. I will have to say that the Anastasia one is a little bit more stiff. And the L'Oreal and NYX are a little bit more softer and flexible as far as the spoolie goes. So as far as the wear and how it looks on the skin, I have to say that I absolutely love my Anastasia one. Of course, it's like my ride or die. Um, next up would be the L'Oreal one. I feel like it's a really good dupe for it. And also, um, I feel like it's the best drugstore dupe that you're going to find just because of how smooth it's going on. I will try to do an update like in a month or two and put that down below just so um, I can see if it maybe dries out, things like that. I have never had any issues with the drying out of my Anastasia one, so that's something that I do have to watch out for with a more cheaper drugstore version. So I have been showing the demo as I've been talking so you guys could kind of see the difference in my eyebrows when I use it. I I don't have really sparse eyebrows so I only kind of use this to fill in the gaps and kind of just even them out and of course they're not completely perfect because they're not I'm not completely symmetrical or perfect but I do feel like this does a really nice job it does really kind of give me that natural look that I really like I have to say I will be continuing to purchase this if it doesn't dry out just because I feel like this is the best um, cheaper option that I can use. Um, I do have to say just because I have really full eyebrows it doesn't take me forever to go through one of these. If you are someone who has more sparse eyebrows then definitely look into this because this is a cheaper alternative and I feel like it's almost identical to the Anastasia one and not as drying as the NYX. So those are basically my two cents. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Have you tried this? What do you think? 
Another thing that I as kind of a con is that so far Lori only has three. So if you're a redhead or have a different um, tone, because Anastasia has so many great ranges of, of shades, um, you might just want to stick to your Anastasia because you only have three options so far with the L'Oreal one. So that's a little um, tidbit right there. So yeah, so overall, I'd love to hear your opinion. Let me know if you guys have tried this. Um, what are your thoughts? I'd love to hear back from you guys. Thank you guys as always for watching, for subscribing. If if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe by hitting that little red button down rid of button. <laughs> that little red button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys.